Knife crime in the London area has gone up by 20% over the last 12 months. This morning, we have seen the most horrific example of knife crime that you could possibly imagine. A man in a large silver van crashed into a house close to Hainault tube station in East London just before seven o'clock this morning. Commuters were going to work. School children were in the area. There were four people seriously injured and tragically a 13 year old boy has lost his life. Details are still very sketchy, but two of those injured are police officers and it's my understanding that one of those officers is very seriously wounded uh, with a significant, what the police describe as significant injuries. Uh, and I understand that uh, there is a danger that uh, that particular officer could lose his hand. Uh, this is obviously a shocking incident. We're used to terrible things occurring. Um, there is no, as of yet, there is no clear motivation that's um, emerged. Uh, it's been reported locally that this man, who nobody seems to know, may have been arrested or come into contact with police yesterday at some point. I stress that that is unconfirmed, but there is a suggestion that he was uh, uh, possessing knives and then was released uh, by police. As of yet, that has not been confirmed, and the IOPC um, were not aware that they've uh, received any referral from the Met. Uh, so, so things are still sketchy. Uh, what is certain is that from locals is that this 36-year-old man that has been arrested in a mustard top, having crashed into the house, he got out of the van with a large samurai sword. Uh, there are videos emerged which are on social media uh, and they show this man uh, carrying this hideous weapon. Um, he's attacked people apparently in the street. It's reported that the house he crashed into, a couple of the occupants there may have been injured. Uh, as of yet, things are still, as I say, unclear. But a picture is beginning to emerge of a man who was clearly deranged in possession of a samurai sword attacking people close to a tube station at seven o'clock this morning while people were just going about their ordinary business off to work. Uh, he is reported to have said, do you believe in God before attacking people? Um, does this indicate some kind of psychosis? Uh, is it a paranoid schizophrenic? We don't know. Uh, what the police have said is that it is not terrorist related. Uh, but they seem to have um, no clear indication of a potential motive. Ambulances arrived on the scene, police were called, there was some kind of chase. Uh, the officers gave chase, showed incredible bravery. Um, he clambered onto some garages, the top of the garages nearby. Uh, the police were yelling at neighbours uh, to get away, to close their, ha their windows, close their doors, not to come out. Uh, he appears to have been sprayed at one point with a pepper spray uh, and then run off. Uh, he was eventually restrained um, with tasers, uh, which um, fire 50,000 volts. Um, sometimes if someone's got thick clothing, they don't work. In this occasion, uh, they've been used the tasers to bring him under control. Uh, he's now in custody. He will no doubt be examined by a doctor to see uh, if he's mentally fit to be interviewed. Uh, but again, I go back to what I started by saying, uh, this is yet another example of knife crime in the streets of the capital. And as we go into elections tomorrow, uh, with Mayor Khan seeking another term of office, uh, it is perhaps worth considering this 20% rise in knife crime. We're getting back to near pre-pandemic levels. Uh, so. You know, is it a weapon? Is it the person? Some people may say. But for someone to be wielding a samurai sword on the streets is extremely disturbing. Our thoughts, of course, remain with the family and friends of the 14-year-old boy who very sadly died here this morning. We will be there to provide every possible support to them and ensure we get them the answers they need. We're also thinking of the two members of the public who were injured, as well as brave officers who were stabbed during this incident. The 36-year-old man arrested at the scene is currently in hospital, having suffered injuries when his van collided with the building. He has been arrested on suspicion of murder. 
At this time, given his injuries, we have been unable to interview him. We know there is speculation about his background, including police contact with him. And despite urgent and extensive checks today, we have found no trace of a prior incident involving him so far. But we will, of course, continue to make those inquiries. As a matter of urgency, we're trying to understand exactly what happened and why. This was and is a fast-moving and complex incident and investigation, and it will take us some time to establish the facts. This will be our priority in the coming days. With the suspect in custody, we are satisfied there is no threat to the wider community. But this is an incident which has clearly shocked everyone. And over the coming days, you will see a significant police presence in this area. And we'll be remaining here, increasing our patrols and ensuring the community are safe and supported. Please speak to our officers. We are really keen to speak to anyone who witnessed this incident or has relevant information and would ask that they come forward as soon as possible. We are turning our focus to the wider community and in particular how the incident has impacted young people. We've set up a team of local officers specifically to respond to local community concerns. And finally, I would like to take this opportunity to ask people to think very carefully about what they post on social media. There are some graphic images circulating online and people should consider the impact of those on the families and those most closely affected by this incident. Thank you. This attack is uh, devastating and uh, appalling. I'm, I'm sure I speak on behalf of the entire city when I say our thoughts and prayers are with uh, this young child's, uh, this young child and his uh, family. Uh, what I do know is that the police and uh, emergency services uh, responded very quickly to the call out from members of the uh, public. The police and other emergency services were well aware uh, this was a dangerous man uh, with a sword. They ran towards him, uh, not thinking about their own safety to protect other members of the uh, public. In addition to this uh, child uh, losing his uh, life, two members of the public have been injured. They're were both taken to hospital. Two police officers have been very seriously uh, injured, are in surgery uh, now. It shows the dangers our police officers face uh, every day, and can I thank them as well for their bravery. Yeah, what more do you think of the police officers' actions? Well, I know from speaking to the Commissioner and other members of the Met Police Service uh, that they were well aware this was a dangerous man. Uh, they were aware he had a big uh, sword. They were concerned about the safety of members of the uh, public. They were aware they're risking their own personal safety uh, and it breaks my heart not only that this child has lost uh, his life uh, but two members of our emergency services have risked their own safety uh, to make sure others weren't injured as a consequence of this man's uh, actions and I think it demonstrates to all of us uh, the everyday bravery of police officers uh, in London and indeed across the country.